What is aliasing and anti-aliasing? In sound and image generation, aliasing is the generation of a false allies frequency along with the correct one when doing frequency sampling. For images, this produces a jagged edge or stair steep effect. For sound, it produces a buzz. By down sampling, reducing the size of a texture, aliasing can be reduced for far away or small objects. But then textured objects look blurry when close to the viewer. So what we really want is a high resolution texture for nearby viewing and down sampled texture for distance viewing. A technique called MIP mapping gives us this by pre-rendering a texture image at several different scales. For example, a 256 into 256 image might be down sampled into 128 into 128, 64 by 64, 32 by 32, 16 by 16 and so on. Then it is up to the renderer to select the correct MIP map to reduce aliasing artifacts at the scale of the rendered texture. Here is a comparison between original image and an aliased image. Anti-aliasing Anti-aliasing is a term for techniques that are designed to mitigate the effects of aliasing. The idea is that when a pixel is only partially covered by a shape, the color of the pixel should be a mixture of the color of the shape and the color of the background. When drawing a black line on a white background, the color of a partially covered pixel would be gray, with the shade of gray depending on the fraction of the pixel that is covered by the line. Here, for example, is a geometric line shown on the left along with two approximations of that line made by coloring pixels. The lines are gently magnified so that you can see the individual pixels. The line on the right is drawn using anti-aliasing, while the one on the middle is not. Methods of anti-aliasing Basically, there are only three main methods of anti-aliasing. Super sampling, multi-sampling, post-processing. Can you memorize what is aliasing? In sound and image generation, Aliasing is the generation of a false alias frequency along with the correct one when doing frequency sampling. For images, this produces a jagged edge or stair steep effect. For sound, it produces a buzz. Great designers seldom make great advertising men because they get overcome by the beauty of the picture and forget that merchandise must be sold by James Randolph Adams.